This is where our guys spend the most time and the most important time they spend, right? We've got a beautiful 10,000 square foot weight room here. We've got all of our racks, power lifting areas in this area. As you'll see behind you in a second, it leaks out right into our indoor facility. You know, our head coach, Mel Tucker, he really stresses being the best conditioned team, fundamentals, being smart, fast, and physical. And you can see that on the walls here. And all that is built in this space every day. It was important for us to have this transition because we could be working out, go right to a run. All right, Dan, we're now in the weight room here. My favorite part of it before you tell us about it is the view. You get spoiled here in Colorado with the beauty of the mountains and those glass windows were purposely done. You gotta use it. For sure. Now give me some specs about this weight room. 24,000 square feet, has 48 platforms, dumbbell and squat, and basically we can get our entire team in here at one time to get strong and then get out to practice or whatever else we're gonna be doing that day. Yeah, home of the hardest working athletes in the country, right? Absolutely. This is an amazing weight room, by the way. I wanna talk about the efficiency and the functionality of this space for all student athletes. And the functionality and efficiency is off the charts, right? Go from this room into the feeling station, straight down to athletic training, but also of the weight room in general, because you're looking at before in the old weight room, we could maybe train one team at a time, right? Football, we had to break up between two to three groups, right? And now we're looking at, we train the entire football team all at the same time, right? It's unbelievable and extremely efficient. Now let's kind of walk the weight room here and kind of understand the functionality of it. We've got a nice little turf section area back here, right? With all of our dumbbells. And so we got athletes we can train, we can warm up here, right? They're doing some mobility exercises. And so then you're in the Ponderosa Pine, really to simulate kind of the best that we can being outside, that naturalness. Right, right, and you can actually get a peek into the outside right here yeah. with the hangar door. This hangar door opens. It's got a big, you know, beeper that goes off when it's opening. It's like something big's about to happen because it does. When the jacks roll out this door, it's game time. Huge weight room. It's got a cardio room up here to the top, but it's big enough that uh, you know our strength coach, Coach Ed, can uh, work out everybody at once if he wants to. We kind of joke that it's our air, aircraft hangar, and we got the, all the glass along the outside there. And then we have a carpet area here where he can do stretches, little sprints, and everything. And then one other thing, branding wise, usually you go to a university, you see the initials, um, but you guys have the whole state. Yes, you know we're the University of Kentucky. We are the state's university. So right now we're in the weight room. It just got redone. We did some major revamping in here. We got some turf in here now, so they can do work on their lateral movement. Now we have a squat rack and a bench rack at each station where there's a tablet where they type in their name, they get the workout and they have motion sensors and sensors and all that. So make sure they're getting down low and doing the right technique. And we got specialized dumbbells over here with the state of Texas on there. It's pretty sweet in here. Underneath the 12 is the monkey bar. You can do a little monkey bars like this. Go down, go all the way across, work your way up, and then finish over here and work your way back. I mean, you can add weight to yourself, make it harder, do it with different stuff, different styles. I mean, you can do whatever around here, man. All right, Maddie, uh, this is different, right? I've seen big weight rooms. I haven't seen long weight rooms. We do have the longest weight room in the SEC. It's 120 yards long. And so actually a fun fact, if you, we will take a shot of you over this way, but it overlooks our indoor practice field. So when guys are working out downstairs or upstairs, they can see vice versa. So it kind of gives them an overview, like we're working in here to get it done out there on the field. Vice versa, you gotta do it in the weight room to get it done on the field. And our strength staff is really great at 
spreading everyone out, making sure they can hit all areas of this room and utilizing it to the best capacity. This new weight room here in this area, what do you like about it the most? One, I think the location's awesome. Here you got all the natural light coming in. You see the stadium in the background. I call this basically our Olympic Village because everything's like right here. Now we know in, in uh, strength and conditioning, um, it's not just, just iron anymore. The technology has, has souped up over the years. What kind of technology do you guys have in the different machines um, around? Strength coaches, we got an art and science degree. So there's an art and there's a science to what we do. The science is the numbers, the science is putting the programs together, the programming, find all the analytics about what we're doing. And the art, the art of coaching is actually coaching. That's the, hey man, you doing all right, let's go today. That's the art. With that being said, you know, every weight room's gonna have barbells, dumbbells, plates. We got these infrared cameras called Elite Form, and it, it's got three dimensional cameras that film it. It films each lift and it determines basically the velocity of the bar, shows you how much your power output is, counts the reps, it has a competition board in it. If you want to do something for either for speed or maybe it's a weight and your face is on there if you're the number one dude. So it's like a competition deal. It's really neat. And then all of our workouts are on these tablets as well. All right, Clay, I already see some guys going hard getting some uh, extra work in. Always. What are some of the specs of the actual uh, weight room? What you can see right here behind us is only half of it. Underneath, we got all sorts of other equipment. Coach Joseph is bringing in the best of the best, right? So we've got everything from Pelotons to, to your normal, just old school, get after free weights, right? But everything is strategic that they do. Coach Joseph is one of the best in the country, if not the best, we're biased for sure. Um, he's been here, he's kind of the heart and soul of this program. So he, he takes the blue collar mentality directly and puts it into these guys while they're down here working out he does an unbelievable job with his group and so they're down there and they're always working there's no there's no messing around when you step into that weight room now this is the biggest weight room in the country I, I, I believe it is for football yes what's unique about this weight room I just like that it's so well thought out you know you got the hill you kind of do your running up and down the hill right there and then it looks right out on the practice field so you guys have guys rehab and then you get their work in and still keep an eye on practice outside so now we're here in the weight room you know it's baseball only again this is obviously a very busy place as you can imagine, all throughout the day, different times, our strength and conditioning coach does a great job and I think we got exactly what he wanted and what he needed. So I think he's uh, extremely happy as well. I love the revolving A, that's very unique. And then the ladder, what are some of the drills and training ideas that go on on these different ladders? Well, I think, you know, Blaine's very creative in, in all of his tactics, but uh, you know, I think he fully utilizes every little bit of this and has a plan every day. I would tell you that he's, he's very creative in his workouts and, and knows how to keep the guys motivated and uh, utilizes this system very, very well. This might be my favorite uh, spot in the entire facility, not because I work out like yeah. that, but because you can see the player lounge from here and also the uh, training area downstairs from here, which is, again, very functional. You know, obviously there, we were very strategic uh, about the views and uh, you forgot one good view. If you look back behind you, you can see the ballpark. There was definitely some purpose for this room to be here yeah. with the clear story and, and everything back to the ballpark for motivation while the guys were working out. So welcome to 30,000 square feet. Got all new racks. They've got built-in cameras, an iPad. Workouts are built-in right there. Come over to the turf field here. This is only for training purposes. Walkthroughs, we'll put our iPads up. They'll use this screen. Um, we also have lasers built into the turf here where guys can run their 40, and then it opens up out here to an open garage door where you can run outside. Okay, Coach Darby, inside of the basketball specific weight room, right? Only right. basketball uses this. You've been in strength and conditioning for a long time. What is it about this weight room that is very functional for the players? It's functional because there's a lot of space, particularly two areas where we can do movement exercises in. It's set up where everything rolls out of the way. There's no platforms. You can stumble over. You know, we can slide, we can run, we can jump in here. Each rack is set up with elite form, which obviously is a way we can track our movements, track power outputs, put the guys' workouts in there as they progress through. One thing I'm noticing in this weight room is the basketball right over there and then also the basketball goal. What are the uses of both of those? For the basketball, I like to use this for grip strength. 
Obviously, this is hooked up to a uh, lap pull-down attachment. We talk about grabbing a rebound and pulling it tight and the guys having to really grip the ball to pull it into their chest. They can't obviously go as heavy as they can holding the bar, but you can put a lot of grip strength into that. The basketball goal is up in here. What I do is every time I test their verticals, I take their max jump and I move their hand up. You know, it's easy to say a guy has a 45-inch vertical or a 38-inch vertical and one guy's 6'11 and one six. Five. This shows exactly how high their max height is. So we're here in the weight room now. Guys are in here a few times a week doing their thing. Coach Flynn is great with them. We have to work well together. We've got nutrition in here. Dr. Matt Frakes runs this domain back here. They're always taking care of the guys pre-lift, pre pre-practice, post-lift, post-practice, during, whatever they need to do. Welcome to the factory. You know, this is where you're gonna put that car together, put that high performance vehicle together. Everyone gets to see the fun under the bright lights, but a lot of the work gets done in the dark is what we would say when no one's watching. A lot of that work is done here in this room. Couldn't be more blessed with the opportunity to be here, but then just the resources, right? We got two rows of eight double-sided platforms. That's 32 working spaces. So the way it works out is we'd like to have efficiency. We talked about time being a really precious commodity. So getting an athlete on their own platform that allows the workout to be efficient and us get through some good work, get them developed. We believe athletes are developed on their feet. So it's an Olympic based training program. We have Perch, which is a big time purchase that we have here that allows you to track bar velocity. We have tools, we don't have toys. If you can clean 315, I can clean 315. Who can move it faster, right? So this tracks the bar velocity, how fast is the bar moving? And then the great thing is Perch does leaderboards. So the guys love to compete on Saturday. Well, they love to compete in here. I hear this weight room is the crown jewel of the Maryland football facility, at least one of them. George, we're extremely fortunate to have this space here. We're very proud of it. Our guys are proud of it. But what we were able to build here really was for our football team to tailor everything we do for those guys. So in this room, you're looking at 25,000 square feet of space in here. Everything in this room, George, that we did just about is custom. So from the bars to the plates to the racks that we did in this room, we got with these vendors and we said, what is the best thing that we can do for Maryland football to tailor it to what we do and how we go about our business. So Play was one of the vendors that did our floor. They did an incredible job there. We use Rogue for all the racks that are in the room and all of those are custom builds from the ground up. We use Alico for all of our barbells and plates. We were the first facility in the States to have their grip discs and their fat handle Evo dumbbells. For us as the coaches, everything comes down to time. The NCAA only gives us eight hours a week to train them and get these guys prepared. So when you have your field space right there and you have your fueling station right there and you have the locker room and your sports medicine facility right behind it and everything's in one area, you don't spend a whole lot of time in transition or chasing guys around because everything is right here. All right, Coach, this is not your average weight room, right? Describe the functionality in here. You have your platforms, you have your racks, and of course, everything just flows and seamless. So we'll start out here with our Olympic lifts. Uh, we'll start here with our uh, jerk racks as well. And of course, they go up and down. And then as you move on further through the facility, there's more platforms as well as you start to get into some of your free weights, some of your dumbbells and some of your Olympic lifts as well. And then you have some of your cable machines. So lots of hip and thigh uh, things there that we do with uh, cables and a lot of pulley systems there. Really unique for track and field and it's everything that we need to be functional. Awesome, awesome. And then back to the art. So we have on this wall, Uncle Phil Knight, right? And Aunt Penny. You see the Knights there. And then on uh, this side here it says Puddles, which is the name of the uh, duck. And uh, each bay has its own uh, little artistic rendering uh, there. One of the things here that I was really impressed during this two and a half uh, year process of putting this thing together and sitting in these meetings was their attention to detail. And if you look at all the door handles here, they're the images of our old grandstands. So the east and the west grandstands are by the door handles on every door that goes in here. So we wanted to make sure that we took the DNA of historic Hayward Field and put it in a new Hayward Field. So you'll see little touches of Hayward Field into the new Hayward Field as we speak. So in the weight room, the weight room is 37,000 square feet. There's 25,000 square feet on the floor where the racks are, squat racks, bench racks. 
and then 12,000 square feet on the second floor. All right, Jeff, I feel like we're now in the best weight room facility in the nation, am I right? Oh yeah, hey, one of the nicest weight rooms. I mean, it's about 30,000 square foot weight room, natural light, everything, 40 foot high ceilings. We got a total of 20 workstations here, 20 customized Sornet racks. It's the best, man, it's the best. Only the best for the best. You know, they come in and get that work in and invest the time in here. And you know, biggest thing with South Carolina is we want to invest in them so then they invest time in here to put the work in to be the best. Talking to the architects and stuff, we told them we want to build something that's never been built before. I told them I want the loudest sound system. I want the best video boards. I want high, high ceilings. I want everything. At the end of the day, all this is for recruiting, really. Doesn't matter how it looks, it's how you use it. Now, one reason why you guys have a, an amazing weight room is the uh, connection with Sorenix, the architects behind it. Give me that, that relationship between USC and, and Sorenix. I love it. Sorenix, Burton Richard Soren graduated from here. You know, so this is this is home. This is family. They're 30 minutes away in Irmo, South Carolina. Okay. So basically, I told them whenever we're getting a new weight room, I said, you got the racks, build me something special. Build me something that an 18, 22 year old kid or an adult walks in and says, wow, what is that? Well, what you see is this is it. It's a cage and a half rack. It's got every toy you can think of on it. Okay, it's got gem arms on the back side. It's got 300 pound weight stacks on each side. You got pulley systems up top, pulley systems down low. Use your imagination and you can do anything on it. It's unbelievable. All right, guys, so I'm here with uh, head strength coach, Coach Wilson Love. Yes, How you doing? How we doing, bro? You're a strength coach, so you all, it's, 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 it works that you almost broke my hand. Oh, yeah, that's good, though. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. We're in this beautiful facility. I mean, the views are immaculate, but we're here to get some work in, right? Oh, wow. How is it set up in here, and what, what, what's important about this space and your space? Right, so this space is all about transferring everything we do in here to the field. So when we come in here, yeah, we all love to lift. We all love to do certain things, but when we come in here, there's a purpose, there's a plan. One, as an individual. Two, by position, by the demands what the position needs. And three, the last thing on that is there's a culture, there's a standard to this program. And that's what we're gonna do. With a kid coming in, let's say there's a high schooler watching this video. What are some of the things that they should be working on to kind of get that foundation before they get on campus? Movement, movement mechanics, speed, nutrition. If you do those, everything else will teach you how to do the rest. We're talking about, obviously, what you guys have in here. How is it set up? Is it set up for functionality and moving through it? Without a doubt. So we have barbells right here in the front for Olympic lifts. Inside right here, more your stationary stuff, squat, bench. Big thing about our programming, we don't believe in just doing everything with two legs. We try to do more things single leg movement. God made us to move like this. Not that. Right here, we have more space for more an explosive movement from a power clean to a split jerk to a snatch, whatever it might be. And there, bench press, single leg squat, back squat, whatever you want to call it. Out here, we'll also bring out the trap bar deadlifts. Everything we have here has a purpose and intent behind it. So that's the best thing. Pull up bars, our ropes, everything that we do, there's a, there's a functionality and a purpose to it. And there's a, also a really good flow. All the stuff here is kind of our auxiliary stuff. Dumbbells, row machines, neck machines are right here. But we got dumbbells that go all the way up to 200 pounds if you're ready for the party. Now, one little cool thing we have right here. If you want to get your bouncy bounce bounce on. Oh, wait a second, Ooh. wait a second. it, yeah! Get them hot. Last thing right here, we got our stairs. So if you want to get some single leg plyos in, then right here is a really good area that we can uh, warm the guys up, a little track area, so. In the day, we're blessed to have everything here and being an Oregon duck, you can't beat it. It's the best thing there is.